In this tutorial, we're going to discuss how timer functions can help you solve issues with input from sensors in your Arduino projects. When using input sensors like buttons in our Arduino projects, it sometimes looks like they're not functioning correctly. They either work intermittently or work with a delay. So the most common reason for that is the delay function in our sketch. Here we've got a simple project where we have four LEDs. We want to turn on and off sequentially with a second interval. If we press this button, we want to instantly have the lights turn on. And when we release the button, all the lights turn off. And they sequentially turn on and off again with a second interval. So what would the sketch look like using the delay function? This is an example sketch where we use the delay function to achieve our objective. Now, over here you see the button. We read it. If it's high, we, that means it's pressed and we turn on the lights. And when we release it, it's low and we turn off the lights. And then we go over here where we turn on our first light and wait a second with the delay function and turn it off and turn the next one on and wait a second and so on. So there's five seconds where we actually halt the application. The, during this time, the button, even if pressed, is not red. And this is why it looks like your button isn't working, why it's not functioning properly. We solve that using a timer. So let's go to the next sketch where we use a timer. In this example, we use a timer to achieve our objective. A timer is like a stopwatch. When it starts running, you can query how much time has passed and then make conditional statements like this if statement to have something happen. So less than a second, we turn the first light on. More than a second and less than two seconds, we turn the first light off and turn the second light on. But the loop keeps on running. So as it goes through each light, at any point when you press this button, the lights come on. And when you release the button, the lights go off and we reset the stopwatch back to zero. And it goes through the whole loop again. So this is how you solve the issue with buttons that look like they're not functioning or have a delay when functioning. For more details, read the description of this video and there is a link to my blog where I go into more detail how this all functions and where you can actually download the libraries to make this work. So I hope that helped you. Have a great day and until next time. Bye now.